All right, I started taking off the transmission. Sorry for the bad uh, quality, but I took that chain off right there. I'm about to take that chain right here off. If you notice, there's a link. Uh, where is that link at? I think I moved it. Let's find out where the link's at. Right there. Right there. The link is real. I can point to it right here. As soon as you take that link out right there, the chain comes out. Took took the pin off right here. Now I gotta remove the chain. And she's out. Now I'm gonna take this floorboard off right here. So I can get to the, to the bolts on the new, like right here. And I gotta take these brake calibers off. I don't know how hard or easy it is to see, but there is a uh, a bracket this right here that hooks up to right here that hooks up to both of the to hooks up to this brake caliber and that brake caliber you gotta take it off oh I, I don't know if you gotta take it off but I took it off to be out of my way so I can remove these calibers once I remove that caliber and that caliber I gotta remove it's a bracket because I can't take I can't take this screw every time I turn this screw this back screw turn the whole thing turns so I'm gonna just take the bracket off so as soon as I take off this caliber right here this bracket this bracket right here will come off and then I could just lean this to the side and you know go from there and another reason why I don't want to touch these screws right here that if I move these screws this way or back one, I'm going to throw the alignment off on the brakes. And I really don't want to throw the alignment off because I don't know how to reset it back. So I'd rather just take the bracket off than to take the screws out. If to me, it's easier and it's, you know, a little bit more simpler. So I don't have to do no adjustments. Got to take the belt off to take this clutch off because the clutch is connected to the transmission so that gotta get removed okay to connect it to the tranny so that gotta come out too that secondary clutch literally i put a big pry bar in the middle and went pulled it out this way and then tapped it with a sand mallet and this thing came right off I removed the caliper on that side and the caliper on that side. Now I I can get to where the bolts. There's bolts right here for for this this plate right here. So I don't have to undo this screw right here. So I don't have to mess with the alignment. So I just take two Allen keys. Literally, there's one Allen key here and one Allen key on the other side right there. And this whole bracket right here just comes off. Make it easier. No adjustment. There's a bolt right here with a nut on the, with a nut on the other side that unscrewed to take off, to take off the, uh, for the transmission. Take an impact and go in here and take this out right here. So you can take, so you can take this right, so you can take it off. Cause you you got to take this off to get to one of the bolts that's on the bottom to take the transmission out, and you got to do it on both sides. Okay. I don't know how hard it is to take this off or not, but. I'm going to tap it with a sand mallet to see what happens. 
if I need to pull the I'll let y'all know. What I'm doing is I got a long I hit it with the, with the rubber mallet till it got this far. Then I put the rubber mallet, then I put the crowbar inside of it right here, put pressure on this side, and I'm smacking the bottom. I'm smacking I don't know if you, uh, you can't really tell. I'm smacking. I put the crowbar in here to, to pull it out, put pressure on it, and then I hit it on the bottom with the uh, the rubber mallet, and it's coming out slowly but surely. It's coming out. So I'll have to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. What I didn't realize that for me to take this brake rotor off, I have to move this right here to the side, going this way. But it has a cotter pin inside of it. And you open the cotter pin up and you literally move it forward. When you move it forward, this brake rotor will come off. Okay, I can't I don't know if you can see, but here go. This is a cotter pin right here. The cotter pin, you open it up with that little tool, like I said. Push, push, it, push this all the way back, and ta-da, it comes out. Got to do it on both sides. I took this other brake rotor off. The reason why I had to get that brake rotor off because the back bolt, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a bolt right here. And it's just the bolt that takes out the transmission. So now I got to unscrew it and remove it from the other side. And hopefully there's no other bolts. Hopefully. Or wires or something. I removed those wires up there. There was some wires. There was some wires connected to right here that you got to remove. Just remember which way they go at. Take these, take these wires right here. Which I have the foggiest idea where, you know, what does it do, but I'll just, see, I put a, um, a knot in the one side on the right side, so I know which way it goes. But, let me start taking out this other bolt. Oh yeah, and I, and I took the cotter pin and, and moved the cotter pin, and then I moved this back this way so I could take this rotor off. To take out the last bolt for the for the transmission mount, oh, I'm sorry, I have to take off this uh, this plastic clip because this is in the way. This 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 case right here is in the way, so I just gotta take this off so I can take the last bolt out, and then let it record. Hopefully, rip out the whole transmission. Once I took off that last bolt. It came right out. And this is it right here. I thought it would be bigger than this, but I guess not. This thing is tiny. It's small, but it's heavy. It's a little bit bigger than a than a train than one from a side by side. But she's out now. Next one, I gotta rip her out, rip her apart.